All right, folks, we are going to make you a video on what I did in order to keep my spool gun connected permanently all the time and the other whip as well. So we'll get a video about that. All right, I hope y'all can see this. I want to show you a couple things here. So you don't want to put your wire on this, okay? You don't want to put your wire on that little screw. You want your wire where they put their wire that, that comes around and goes around to one of the cables around here. Okay, goes around to one of these around the front which a lot of people on the videos, this they just get one of these and they put it on their spool gun and then they can just plug the spool gun here on the front, which is okay, you can do that. But they always have to really modify one of these with a, a smaller wire and all and or they put some way and duct tape that on there and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it this way. Okay. I think it would be a lot better. So, <clears throat> your wire is going to go where their wire goes from the factory. And you can see it's not a very big wire. Not really. Now that screw was a little bit short, so I just took off the, the 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 lock washer. I took that off of there and left the little one. I think it'll be fine because I'm gonna I'm gonna tighten it up. It ain't going nowhere. If it does, I'll retighten. Anyway, there is your little factory wire. And somebody said I think it was a four, but it doesn't look that big to me. The wire I'm using is definitely bigger. So, okay, that hole's a little big, but <clears throat> it'll be okay because I'm going to put it on the bottom. And then I'm going to put the little factory wire over the top with the small hole. And there we go. Now, getting all this together is a little bit. It's a little complicated getting getting in there to do it. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> yeah. down in there somewhere I got that part here we go again let's take off this
And here we go. So this is the most <clears throat> most complicated part of the whole thing, believe me. That's right. Now, then we take a wire, and there's a hole right here. Just go through it, and you could put a little. <clears throat> You could put some type of little keeper here if you wanted to. I'm not worried about it. It ain't going nowhere. All right. So we got that part done. Now we got our wires sticking out the front. <clears throat> okay. See if I can get y'all where you can see. Here we go. So I took a five H drill bit and a I just went in there and I didn't really drill it. It just, maybe it just kind of shaved it a little bit in there and made it a lot better fit. It's not near as tight. And it doesn't go all the way up to there. Uh, you could, you could just drill all the way through it. And make it where this would go up on there further. You still have to have enough for your wire here, but I'm not too worried about it. It's up there enough. And then I uh, I drilled this hole. Let's see. It so happens it's got a it's got more holes here than you need. You've got this little screw. Here it is. You got this little screw that goes in there just keeps the two pieces together where this doesn't fall out and there's an extra hole and so that goes in here that way so the little screw goes there and I drilled and tapped and I'm gonna put one of these in there and that way when it's together it'll be tight so
All right. Now then, you've got your you've got your connector on there. You can just plug that in. And it doesn't go all the way on. Okay. It's a, it's a tight fit. Okay, and you've got a gap here. So what I'm gonna do to remedy that, I just took a little little piece of rubber here and cut it. And that'll go on there. And there it is. And there we go. That's not going nowhere. That's as good as any of them. And then you've got your little line here. It'll go back through the same hole like that. And then you just, all you've got to do is just, well, let me turn you all around. Okay, so all you have to do is undo your gas and then put your other gas in and there we go. Maybe put, put a little something over the top of this hole to keep dirt and stuff out of it. Okay, that's got that. <clears throat> we're back so if you've looked at some of the videos on YouTube there's lots of ways of doing what I'm doing but I'm doing it the way I'm doing it and I think it's a little easier <clears throat> I'm not going to recommend that y'all do this but it's what I'm doing so to start out we need a piece of wire and I think it needs to be about four alt I think what I've got here is quite a bit heavier than what they've got but this is a good wire it's got a lot of braid a lot of strands and I just took an old cable I had laying around it's got an end already on it and I just cut off a piece it's already got the end on it it's good and heavy duty I cleaned it up and that'll go up into there and we'll be ready to go oh and you can buy these at your welding supply you, you pull the screw out of here And then it'll come apart. You put your cable in there. And what I did was I drilled another hole there. And to haft it out. And then I'll put a little screw in there. And it'll keep everything together where it doesn't come apart. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so we've got our spool gun connected. Everything runs right through that hole. And when you want to use the spool gun, all you've got to do is, is you unscrew this, okay, and then you just simply screw this one in. Of course, you got to get it lined up first. That's the tricky part. Here we go. Okay. All right. 
and there we go so <clears throat> you've got your spool gun hooked up now you don't have to mess with all that other stuff all the time certainly don't have to pull your wire all the way back out and I don't see how it gets any simpler than this and as far as I'm concerned this is as good as factory and just as good or even better than any of the videos I've seen about doing this that's on YouTube right now and all you like I said all you have to do is do that to go from you know one to the other and it'll just stay like this uh, I've got a filing cabinet with a couple of drawers that this sets on and you know th these will just set in those drawers and then I'll just use whichever one I want to use you know and you still have the ability to change these out however you want to change them out and uh anyway i think that's that's about it all right see y'all later all right we got our welder put over here where it's gonna be and we got a couple of drawers so we can put our a regular whip right there in the top and we got a spool gun down there in the bottom now the drawers won't close but but that's okay though at least it's out of the way and we got a new bottle set up here with the regulator anyway let's see what it'll do